This is a quick, intense 10-minute workout to help you strengthen your back. We're going to be working on the root causes of back pain, so strengthening your core, strengthening your shoulders. And by the end of this 10-minute workout, you're going to be feeling a lot better, feeling stronger, and you'll probably be sweating. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future workouts and like the video if you found it helpful. Let's get into it. All right, we're going to start on the ground in a bridge pose. So go ahead and take it onto your back. Bring your feet in toward your butt. Press down through your feet to lift your hips and really clench your glutes. So we're working on glute activation here, getting a really strong, stable lower body foundation. So you want to feel your hamstrings should be working, your glutes should be working. If you want, think about pulling your feet, pulling your shoulders toward your feet with your feet. That's going to help with engaging the hamstrings. And then think about really clenching your glutes, really squeezing your butt muscles to engage the glutes. If you don't feel the glutes working right away, it does take some time for those muscles to turn on. Just keep at it. Keep doing these workouts consistently. That glute engagement will get better. Now, with this strong foundation, with the feet pressing into the ground, the hamstrings, the glutes engaged, go ahead and lift a little bit higher. And I like to think instead of lifting, think pushing up. So you're pressing your feet down to press your hips upward and starting to arch a little bit more through your lower back. So as you're doing that, you're going to feel the lower back, the muscles on either side of your spine. Those should start to engage. You might feel some tightness. Tightness is okay. We don't want to feel pinching. So just make sure that you're aiming for that muscle fatigue sensation, but don't push up so high that you feel pinching or pinching or pain in the lower back. We're going to do this for two more breaths. So keep pressing up. Keep the back muscles working. And use your abs and your hips and your thighs to support your back. You don't want everything in the back. We want to be turning all these exercises into a full body exercise. And that's what's ultimately going to help you strengthen your back. Go ahead and slowly release down. Ugh. And then from here, we're going to counter this with a core exercise. So you're going to bring your legs over your knees, your knees over your hips like this. We're going to bring the left leg straight out. You're going to extend your right leg up. Squeeze this right thigh as much as you can. Make sure that your lower back is pressed into the ground. The top of your hips should also be on the ground. And then press your left toes forward. Hover them about six feet, six inches <laughs> off the ground. And then from here, just slowly switch. Point your left toes up. Press your right leg forward. And again, hovering that at about six inches. Again, slowly switch, press your right leg up. Think about straightening the leg as much as you can. Recognize that your mobility is going to be different than mine, so you might not get the leg as high. You also might have to bend the knee a little bit. Just make sure the back feels good as you're doing this. Switch, left leg pointed up, lock out the leg, press your right toes forward. Think about squeezing your left knee toward your face. Lock out the leg if you can, even if it's a little bit further away from your face, that's fine. Make sure that the low back feels good. Your core is engaged to support. Switch. So a couple breaths per side here. This is going to be the last one. Keep reaching the leg up. Keep squeezing the thigh. Squeeze the abs. When you strengthen your hips, you strengthen your core. Your back is going to be strengthened as well. Last time, switch. Left leg pressing up. Again, squeeze that left thigh, squeeze your left hip flexors, squeeze your abs, length through the lower back, hips still touching the ground. And then bring your knees back on top of your hips with the legs bent and slowly release. Okay, nice job there. So quick little effective sequence to warm up. We're going to move into our next pose. This is a side plank. So. I know a lot of you guys don't like side planks, but that's a great reason Great reason to do them. You're going to get stronger doing those. So we're going to plant the right forearm. Level one, you're going to have your knees bent like this and your legs stacked, and then lift your hips off the ground. So this is level one. You want to make sure that the hips are coming away from the ground. Don't let your hips sag. So if you're good here, if you feel like the hips are lifting off the ground, you're feeling the outer right hip working, you're feeling your right shoulder working. Also make sure that you're not leaning to the side or kind of leaning so that you're looking down. You want this shoulder rolled back. So rolling back that top shoulder so the chest is open to the outside. And you should feel your upper back kind of working as you do this. 
Hug your right forearm toward your right knee. Drive the hips up a little bit. Now here, moving to progression number two. If you can, you're going to straighten the legs and come into a staggered position. So you're resting on the sides of your feet, driving the hips up still. If you notice that your hips really sag down to the ground as you do this, then go back to the knees stacked on the ground. This is level two. Keep the hips driving up, the shoulders face to the outside. From here, going into progression three, if you can, where you're going to stack the feet, drive the hips up even higher. Again, really the strength of this pose comes from you driving the hips upward. And then if you can, extend the arm up. Driving that hand up. Hips up even higher. Do one more breath here. And then slowly release. Quick break here, guys. If you want to be more consistent with your workouts and get more significant results, we do have the Manful Yoga app in members area, which makes this easy. A great way to try that out is with one of our free seven-day challenges. So check out the seven-day sexual wellness challenge from us. Seven days, seven workouts, just 15 minutes, and noticeable improvements to your sexual performance. You can sign up for free. Link in the description below. All right, we're going to switch sides. So now planting your left forearm. So left forearm is parallel to the top of the mat. Level one, knees stacked, knees on the ground. Make sure that your hips are lifted. So you're trying to drive the right hip up into the ceiling, lifting it as high as you can. You're gonna feel a lot of left, outer left hip activation. As you do that, you should also feel your left obliques working. You want your shoulders facing directly to the outside, so don't let your shoulder face downward. You also don't want to roll back and look up. You want the hips facing to the outside. Your left elbow should be directly under your left shoulder. And as you do that, think about hugging your left forearm down toward your knees, and you'll feel a little bit more engagement through your left lat as you do that. So I really like side plank because it's so good for the back, so good for strengthening your back. It also gets your upper back muscles involved in a way that very few body weight exercises do. If you've got no equipment, this is a really good way to strengthen your back. All right, level one, level two. Stagger the feet, drive the hips up high. Remember, keep the hips facing to the outside. Hand can rest on the hip or it can extend up. Just depends on how you're feeling today, and it'll change day to day. Some days you'll be stronger than others. Level three, stack the feet if you can. Keep the hips driving up. Remember, your hips should be able to lift up into the air, so choose whichever modification allows you to keep the hips driving up. A lot of oblique action, a lot of outer hip. Chest still facing to the outside. Think about getting big with your body. One more breath here. and then slowly release down. All right, moving into our next pose. Grab a block. We're gonna go into a low lunge. Right leg forward, left leg back. Allow your hips to sink forward and find just a natural depth here so it doesn't have to be super deep. Just find a comfortable depth with this lunge where you're feeling stretching, but it's also not so difficult that you don't feel like you can hold it for more than 10 seconds. And then hold that block overhead. You're going to squeeze that block between your hands like you're going to smush it or smash it or scrunch it up, whatever SM word you want to use here, and then squeeze the arms back, back, back until you start to feel your upper back working to hold this up. Now lift your chest up even higher, keeping the hips down, lift your chest up, 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 and then lean back a little bit more. Now as you're doing this, keep your hips active. You're going to squeeze your hips, squeeze your thighs. Your core is going to work, so squeeze your abs, and then lean back even more. So this is a controlled backbend. We're not just leaning back as far as we can go without listening to our body. We're staying strong, and then we're going back a little bit more. As you inhale, get a little bit taller, lean back a little bit more, and then hold here for two more breaths. Again challenging your upper back here, challenging the strength of your spine in this back bend. Use your core, use your hips to support your back. And that's a good uh, analogy for overall back health. Strengthen your hips, strengthen your core, your back's gonna feel better. All right, go ahead and release. Switching sides, left leg forward, right leg back. 
Squeeze your hips, push down through the left foot. Bring your arms overhead. Find a nice comfortable depth for this lunge. Right hip flexors are going to be stretching, so the front of the right hip is opening up. You wanna squeeze your right glute, push down through your left foot. Feel your left thigh and your left hip working. Press the blocks up as high as you can. If you need to, you can also bend your elbows here. And then lean back. As you go deeper, you always want to check in with the length. So you exhale to go a little bit further back, a little more depth, and then you inhale to lengthen and think about making the spine longer from the floor up to the ceiling, getting that length and then getting the depth as you exhale. We're gonna do three more breaths here. Again, focusing on really strengthening the spine, but using your hips, using your core to support. Straighten the arms a little bit more. Go back a little bit further. And then slowly release. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that workout. Again, quick, intense 10-minute workout. If you're looking for more of these, we've got a bunch of them here for free on the Manful Yoga YouTube channel. Subscribe so you don't miss out. Put out a new workout every week. If you want to see what just 15 minutes of yoga per day can do for you, I've got a free seven-day beginner yoga for men challenge. Part of that is really focused on helping you get out of pain. Relieving back pain is probably the number one thing we do here at Manful Yoga. So you can sign up for that for free. No credit card required. Link is in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Hit the like button if you did. Leave a comment if you have some feedback. Just want to say hi. And again, subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want to check out one of those quick 10-minute workouts that I mentioned, go ahead and click above my shoulder here, and you can do that right now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.